Hey, what's going on here? The Brad. video guy's here. Ooh, stepped on that. All right, uh, yeah, come on in, come on in. I'm uh, back in Denver for a little while. As you can see, my uh, hotel room, not a motel room, a hotel room, that's cool. Um, so let's, uh, I don't know what they're doing there exactly, but. Uh, eight, 1850? <laughs> That's right before I was born. Well, that didn't work well. <laughs> That seemed to have worked. Uh, yeah, so what do we got going on here? Okay, we got uh, we got some stuff going on here. Um, Matt Davies from a company, I, I don't know where, okay, well, I'll tell you where the company's from probably, and that's Boise, Idaho, uh, because it's it's on the, the shipping here. Um, and uh, Home Chef Association, and uh, it's in Boise, Idaho, and the guy's name is Matt Davies, okay? And uh, it's, come, it's from the uh, Chef's Foundry, or Foundries, I'm not sure, okay. But anyway, Chef's Foundry, and what they do is they produce a uh, high quality uh, ceramic knife, and it's a zirconium, uh, which zirconium, I think, is diamond. Uh, so anyway, uh, a diamond, maybe hardness, diamond quality ceramic knife, and they do uh, chef knives, they do paring knives, and uh, kitchen knives, things like that. I, I've never seen them. I don't have any, any idea, uh, you know, what they look like or anything else. Um, Chance Buell, the guy that runs the website, uh, gets um, every, uh, okay, I shaved with my knives uh, a while back. And uh, so anyway, Mr. Davies uh, contacted us through an email and said, hey, I see you, you know, I see Brad shaving with the knives. Uh, we make knives, I'd like to send you some knives, have Brad shave with them and see what he thinks. So that's pretty much what this video is gonna be about. I'm just gonna check these knives out and uh, you know, see what I think of them, see what they look like, stuff like that. And then uh, I'm gonna shave with them. So this is Brad, sharpensbest.com. Uh, you see it first right here. We don't we do not do this stuff once and then film. I mean, how many times can you shave your beard off and, and make it look like you just did it, you know? So this is Brad, sharpensbest.com. Come along for the adventure and watch, because in just a little bit, we're going to show you me shaving with these knives. Take care. Let's see it. Done. Oh. All right. Let's, uh, let's see. And I've been flying and driving a lot, and I don't even have my pocket back, back pocket knife back in my pocket. Uh, so anyway, here's some uh, paperwork here. Not that it probably makes much difference, uh, but uh, this is the P600 knife set. Okay, it's called the Chef's Foundry without the S. Called the P600 knife set and uh, it's not been opened or anything. Ultra sharp ceramic chef knife set. Ceramic is known uh, as one of the hardest materials in the world. It's ultra sharp uh, ceramic knife. Um, fantastic for all sorts of cutting in the kitchen, chopping, dicing, the lights on there. Uh, Ju uh, Julianna Ng. Uh, <laughs> shaving or um, pairing uh, are no match uh, for these knives, okay? Uh, paring knife, you know, and, and uh, if you're gonna shave off some fruit and vegetables, I guess. Ceramic blades also stay sharper much longer because of, uh, they're so much harder than the stainless, which is their counterpart, okay, and set contains. Um, so anyway, Chef Foundry. Let's look at it here. Um, uh, let's open them up with this uh, wonderful keychain here little guy that I've probably sharpened it. Oh, God, that bites uh, somewhere along the way. And uh, so we just cut along here. And along there. Get rid of the plastic. Looks like it kind of took a bad shot there at one time or another. And probably okay, though. P600 knife set. And... Uh, you see it live right here first. I have absolutely no idea, um, as I normally don't when I get handed something. That should have been this way. All right. 
So open it with a lid that comes off if you order some of these important information. Don't cut yourself. Okay, that, that's, that's probably reasonable. Um, so white is typical looking white for ceramic. Ceramic is generally always white. Uh, so you have a little paring knife there and you have about a six inch knife and then you have the uh, chef knife and uh, you got little finger holes there. That's pretty cool. Uh, Okay, and that fits on there really nice and solid, protects it, put it in the kitchen drawer, that way your knives don't bang, the cutting edge isn't banging into something all the time. You got some finger grips here, it uh, gets it's thinner, comes out thicker, so you can get a hold of it, take a hold of it like that. You know, I actually kind of like this, it doesn't have a sharp point. Knives don't need a sharp point. Um, you know, your kitchen knives, you, you don't really need a sharp point on a knife. Sharp point is just something, if you drop it, uh, to bend it, break it, something like that, you're going to distort the blade. Um, so that's kind of cool actually, so you can actually go, you know, up like that. I haven't even touched the cutting edge on this yet, have no idea. So then you have the, uh, about a, yeah, about a six inch blade, something like that. And uh, I'll put this one together, looks like that, it's pretty cool. Uh, so far, you know, the quality looks pretty good. I like the rubberized handles, I like the little thumb grips on here like that, so you can get a hold of it. When you're working in the kitchen quite often you have, uh, I call it the slime off of meat, fish, uh, you know, things like that. Um, and then your, your vegetables, and there's a lot of stuff in the kitchen uh, that you cook with that makes your hands slick. So the rubberized handle is good and the little, the, the little uh, like braille uh, bumps on the sides there for your thumb to work with, uh, you know, and then the, your finger on the side, that's pretty cool. So put that back in there, and then we have the small three-inch paring knife, probably two and seven eighths, something like that. Um, and again, the rubberized handle, the uh, little knurled uh, little bumps on there. That's pretty cool. I like that. You know, short blade uh, for working things. Um, so let's. Uh, I don't know. Let's just go and do what I normally do. The real test isn't, you know, will it slash paper? Uh, the gentleman said, would you please? have Brad shave with these knives, you know, as you can see, I've had a beard for a little while now again. I've actually, I've had a lot of beard, but I've trimmed it several times. My beard grows really fast. Uh, in a month, I have a beard. Um, it's, uh, it, it, thank God, actually, I guess, you know, the hair grows really fast. So let's see, first, we're just gonna take a swipe at it. Okay, that's with the, uh, the small, the three inch knife. Now we got the six inch knife, which, the size of the knife makes a big difference too, okay? The size of the knife, you can actually put more pressure on the paper with less pressure on your hand. It's, it's the dynamics of how things work. Um, you can have a blade that's just as sharp that short versus this one. This is gonna be easier to slice the paper with. This should be even easier. Not that it's sharper, but it should be a little bit easier just because of the size of the knife, the way I hold it and everything. And that, that now see, I mean that, See, you slide that through the paper, now watch this, okay? I actually have to push. It fights with me a little bit. I don't, I don't really think it's just because these knives are sharper, I think it's because I can't exert as much pressure as easily on a short knife. Uh, I just try to tell you guys the truth. I, I don't try to, I don't, I don't know, lie to you and, and make it phony it up. That's just not what I do. Um, you're going to get caught. You look like, you know, you look stupid. Uh, people know you're a liar. Um, it's just not what I do now. Uh, so that, that's probably the reason why this knife, and I don't want to do too much paper slicing. I had almost said, said that I'm not going to do that because slicing paper is hard on the blade. If I'm going to try shaving with these knives, they should be shaving sharp. Let's say they're shaving sharp right out of the box, not after I mess with them. And I can sharpen, uh, uh, it does bite. Um, I can see right now that, okay, uh, it's uh, a little better than a sixteenth of an inch thick. Then you got your primary grind and then you got your secondary bevel down there. It's pretty thin in the primary grind. Uh, it's a hollow grind knife and then you've got your uh, secondary grind. And uh, if it's going to hold an edge longer, it needs to be a little thick. Uh, if it's going to be so freaking sharp you can't even begin to believe it, then of course you thin it down. This appears to have somewhere around, a, I don't know, it could be 14, 
degree bevel. Uh, I like 12, 11, 10 down in there somewhere. Okay, well that's enough of the chatter about this, uh, about the knives. Uh, I like the weight, I like the balance. Um, I like the, the color uh, and uh, a white appearance on ceramic is a good deal because if these are food processing knives then you need to be able to see uh, coloration of, of something that is food that didn't get washed off completely. I sharpen a lot of knives and I notice that in restaurants, you know, it's bad for restaurants, but I notice in restaurants right here where the blade and the handle connect that, that groove right there, uh, quite often has a lot of food in it. Okay, now that food probably hasn't been Cloroxed, it isn't dead. Um, it does harbor some bacteria, so you gotta watch out for that. Um, I've had knives they expect me to sharpen that haven't even been washed. And I don't like that idea because if I happen to cut myself with a knife that has a lot of bacteria on it and stuff, then I could get sick just from sharpening the knives and nicking my finger with a knife that has, uh, I don't know, E. coli or, or, you know, bacteria, food poisoning on it. So I always wash the knives before I sharpen them at a restaurant. Um, I have people walk by and say, well, you know, they're pretty clean. And I say, I know, it's no extra charge. I just want to make sure they're really clean when I sharpen them. Um, so anyway, that's uh, that's about it. P600 knife set and uh, Matt Davies, uh, chef, Chef's Foundry, is uh, who produced these knives. So let's kind of get ready here and let's take a look and see what it takes to shave my beard off with these knives. I don't know. Let's find out. Um, we'll take these three. I'm going to use all three of these. All right. I do have a sharpener. Uh, just in case, and um, that's right, uh, just in case I might need to work on them a little bit, so I'd take my hat off, and uh, my poor old hair has just been screwed around here, and uh, you shampoo your hair, and then let it dry, it really goes everywhere. All right. Oh my God. Here we go. I think I'm just going to, I think I'm going to shave this much off. I'm probably going to drop my sideburns from about here to about here. I'm, I'm going to play with my, I'm going to leave my, my goatee, uh, for a while and see. And then, uh, I don't know, who knows? So let's take some shampoo. All right. Bath gel, probably about the same thing. And, um, Let's see. Kind of slick it up a little bit with some bath gel here. And I'm going to not plug up their sink. I'm going to put the stopper in. And let's see. Take the little one. Turn it. It pulls. But it is doing it. Okay. Now let's see. Oh my god, I did this before. This is hard. Okay, this is not working as well. Okay, I'm going to have to say this one is not as sharp. Sorry about that, buddy. Matt. Um, the big one, let's see if they did better. I'm going to look like hell here pretty soon. Uh, and then I'd be actually... I'm, I'll try to sharpen them and see if I can actually change them with my little sharpener and we'll see. So I'm just going to let you guys see whatever it is that's going on here. Uh, okay, that doesn't seem too bad. I didn't even bring any band-aids. That's not a good idea.
Okay, that was a pretty big chunk that fell off. I don't know if you guys know it or not, but when you shave with a, with a safety razor, you actually put a lot of pressure on it. The only reason you don't get cut is because of the plastic that sticks out actually almost a little further than the blade so that the, the, the whiskers and everything kind of go back in where the blade is. That way you don't get cut. You actually have to put a lot of pressure on uh, the razor to cut. Alright, let's see. Uh, That's working, but she pulls. fast. Okay, that looks pretty good. Let's see. I'm going to hurry here a little bit. Let's see what we can do for the other side. You got 90 seconds, Brad. Alright. Give me a rundown real quick, a before and after there, one side versus the other. Okay, here's the other side, full beard. Okay, here's the side that I shaved, and it really isn't too bad. Okay, and then we might touch them up a little bit and we'll shave. You know what, maybe we should quit, and uh, I'll touch them up a little bit if I can, um, and see how it shaves then. All right, this is Brad, sharpensbest.com. You take care. So far, I think this is the sharpest one, or it's because it's big and it's easier to handle. This is Brad, take care.